2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Bluff Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And it's hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hi Luke, great to be with you guys. Now this group will be one to watch today. Lots of chatter on social media leading up to this pairing. We have a rookie on tour who has set very specific goals for themselves and their first one is to beat their playing partner this week. Love it Henny, this will make for an extra layer of excitement. It always adds a bit more drama to an event when we can follow a competition within a competition. Can't wait to see what happens in our featured group throughout this tournament. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Second shot here on the first. This one is heading to a really not so good space. And here we are with the third shot. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Setting up this putt 21 feet from the cup. would that have been if it had dropped and that should secure the par on this one so it'll be a par to start their round very nice par indeed very solid hole played one of our on course reporters john mccarthy has been out surveying the scene here in preparation for today's broadcast john what are some of the things the players will be looking out for today at craggy heights well, Luke, I think one of the first things the players are going to be looking at uh, is really, literally, the shapes of these fairways. They are laid out in a way that often there are little pockets 
of fairway. The players can hit to, and uh, if they do end up safe, they can really open up options on their approach shots, but uh, they're going to have to be confident in their swing to reap those rewards. Another thing to watch for are holes like the fifth, where the fairway narrows significantly the further out you hit your tee shot. There's also holes like the par 4 17th, where you can drive the green, yes, but there is a lot of danger in the form of water and sand around the green to contend with. So it's very much a risk-reward course. Can't wait to just sit back and watch how these professionals take this course on. Should be a fun week here at Craigie Heights. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Looking really good. Just didn't drop. And this one is for his par. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Going with the seven. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. And this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. That's disappointing. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. Big putt for Pai coming up. And that putt will drop. Well done. So no movement there. The player remains at even par. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. <laughs> that was pummeled. Great drive. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 150 yards.
choosing the nine iron here. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. This putt for inside the top five on the leaderboard. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. Teeing off here at the fifth. This one should find the rough. Few players have had the kind of impact on the game that Ricky Fowler has, and certainly being a fan favourite, Rich, it's funny when you see grown men dressed head to toe in orange supporting this uh, wonderful person. Uh, but I know he wants more out of his career bio than what he's got right now. And he will definitely get it as well, Luke. He's too good of a talent, and he has too much ability to not be a great player and be on the top of the leaderboard uh, definitely a few times during the season. He is definitely, if there is a Pied Piper in golf outside of Tiger Woods, I would put my thumb on, on Ricky Fowler just because so many people go out there dressed in the orange gear that he has. And whatever he does... They just love it. He's engaging. He's affable. He looks like he is enjoying himself on the golf course, which I truly believe he is. He really is one of these players that's so dynamic and so fun to be around. You can't help but root for him week in and week out. Yeah, well played. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival... Can he do the catching up that's necessary? <laughs> oh, that's a ripper. Oh, that's going to add a little fuel to the fire of this group rivalry, guys. Massive putt. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. game can be frustrating can't it and this putt coming up for his par our work here is done let's head to the next hole just two shots back after that hole time to tee off at the sixth
That should find the cut stuff. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. That's a pretty handy shot. Well, they've got their eye locked in. Look at that approach shot against Ricky Fowler as well. Found the green side bunker. Looking for an up and down here. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Let's return to live play now. And this putt to move into the top five. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. Currently one under for the tournament. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Ting off here at the seventh. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? They're setting up this next shot into quite an elevated green, Luke. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Just needs this one to kick right. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Uh, putting hasn't been the strength today. Hopefully that can change right here. This for a birdie birdie run. That's a long-range bomb, and with it, puts extra strain on the person chasing behind them. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. I need to see this again, because I still can't believe they hold that. Finds himself in a share of the lead. Here we find ourselves at the dramatic eighth hole at Craggy Heights, a par three playing 198 yards from the back tees. 
Luke, probably one of those picturesque par threes on this golf course, if not the one. Obviously, coming up shy is a huge no-no with water lurking there. You're going to see most players hit it deep into the green. Anywhere in the heart of the green really is just fine. Walking off with a par here is just dandy. Needs this to kick a bit left. That's well played. Pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. This putt is from 14 feet. Rolling end to end is looking nice. Fair effort that. Good birdie. And that will take him to three under. And that makes him tied for first. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. And Henny, what's he looking at here? The wind is at their back on this one. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Well, Luke, you're right. He did find grass, but it's not the closely mown grass. Why don't we catch up with Ricky Fowler? Yeah, good effort, that one, out of the bunker. Let's get back to it, shall we? They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. Didn't that look good for a long time? Oh, these are big momentum putts. Let's make this one from nine feet. Solid little par putt here. Oh, so close. And this next putt, it's for bogey. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine.
180 yards out. Just two shots behind. Looks to be going with the six iron. That one's headed right and staying right. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. Yeah, Wynn took that one offline in a hurry. Sitting at plus one. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Getting ready to play their third. Only two shots off the pace. went in the hole just a four footer remaining don't want to miss it could be costly this for par I like the look of this currently two under for the day time to tee off on the 11th Opting for the 9-iron. Nine nine. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. Oh, that one was zooming past the hole. What's in front of them, Henny? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Just three feet to the cup. Oh, 
Well, at least it wasn't a double. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Oh, Rich loves standing on this 12th tee here, a par five. You're always thinking birdie or perhaps better. Take us through it. At 555 yards, Luke, there still is a decision to be made off the tee for these players. Do they challenge the fairway bunker, but also bring in the water down the right-hand side, or do they just go ahead and lay it up to the left and make it a three-shotter? The bold players are going to knock it down to a sliver of an opening, and from there, they're going to be able to go for it. Second shot playing a little bit downhill. A little pond over on the left-hand side can be a little bit nuisance, but all in all, it's a pretty simple, straightforward par five. Birdies are in order. Oh, caught up in some branches. Ah, right into the water on that one. Sitting at minus one, currently tied for third. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. This is not sitting nicely. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. And back to the course with the live action. This putt from around 18 feet. Frustrating. 13 feet to the cup. This is what they have left for bogey. What a putt started this perfectly. And unfortunately dropping back to level with the car. Let's see what happens here on the 13th hole, shall we? Well struck. Time for the second shot here at the 13th.
and choosing the eight iron here. Yeah, tidy looking shot that one. A wonderful shot, a chance for Birdie here on the 13th. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Oh, nice looking putt. You know, it's not if you make bogeys, it's how you respond. Well done. And that will take him to one under. Some lovely momentum for this player, moving up the leaderboard. Well now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? This whole location for him, well, it's about 185 yards out. Yeah, nicely played. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Look at the old hammer hands putt. Putting for par. Yeah, the line was pretty good, but the length, that was loose. Yeah, you just, that can happen on these greens. They're tricky at times. A bogey putter waits. Shame it didn't drop. And this one will be for double bogey. Now over to Ricky Fowler. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Found the green side rough. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. off here at the 15th hole. Hopefully that double bogey in the last isn't scarring them for life. Going with the six iron here. Needs a little ground help to the left. <laughs> yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Putting for birdie.
go to your home ball. Go to your home. And the putt drops. Now even par heading down the stretch. And they're going to have to really focus in here to try and chase down that leader. And let's have one more look at that shot. What an amazing putt from way out. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. I nice shot that. That should find the surface. That was a beauty. OK, let's get back to the action. Love the long holes. Welcome to the par five. Even for the day. Opting for the three wood. This one needs to kick left. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. And this putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Oh, that's too bad. And this part to move into the top ten. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Currently one under for the round. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Come on, that finish line's in sight. Let's power towards it. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Penny, what's the player facing here? Wind starting to get up, but it's helping, which is nice. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. 
Gee, I think they've got the handle of this game, Rich. Fairways and greens. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Right over the spot they were looking at. Ouch, that hurts. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Now over to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, that's a fantastic attempt, especially from that distance. But it didn't quite drop. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Now on the tee of a long par four. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Going with the eight iron here. Needs this one to kick right. Well, good shot that. Right inside the range. And this putters for a final score of 70. line right on four feet should make this one that's tracking and that will do it for him at this event And for a first start on the PGA Tour, Rich, you've got to take your hat off to them. Top tens are always great, aren't they? I think it will give this player a lot of confidence. On behalf of Rich Beam and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.